up to this point, we can request a one-time PIN and receive a random PIN in our email. Now let's see how we can verify and confirm the received PIN. To start, we create a new OTP route for verifying the OTP. This will be a post request and will receive an async route handler, with the handler expecting the request and response parameters. We start by distracting some data from the body of the request. For the verification, we expect to get a one-time PIN and the email address of the user in question. Now for the actual verification, we assign that to a function in the controller file. Here we create a simple async function for the verification. As parameters, we receive the email and the OTP. Now we check if any of the values are empty. If that's the case, we throw an error with the message. After that, we want to check if an OTP exists for the particular user. So for this, we look for a matching record using the OTP model based on the email. If we end up with nothing, we throw an error that we found nothing. In the case of a match, we want to check if it hasn't expired. To do this, we destructure the expiry date from the record. Now we check if the expiry date is less than the current date. If that's true, the record has expired. So we delete it based on the email and throw an error with an appropriate message. On the other hand, if it hasn't expired yet, we verify the value. Since we hashed the OTP before storing it, we need to import the utility we created for verifying hash data. This makes use of Bcrypt to verify a pair of unhashed and hashed data. With that, we fetch the hashed OTP from the record. Now we verify if it's valid by passing the received OTP and the hashed one. At the end, we return the result which will be a boolean. In the case of any error, we throw it in the catch block. Now at the bottom, we export the function. While we are here, let's add a simple async function for deleting an OTP. We will need it a bit later in the series. This will receive an email and using the OTP model, delete an existing OTP record based on the email. Should any error occur, we throw it. Finally, we add it to the export. Now back in the route file, we import the verify OTP function. We then check for a valid OTP by passing in the received email and OTP. After this, we respond to a successful request by passing the validity, which is a boolean. In the case of an unsuccessful request, we send an error response with a received error message. Now we've already exported this router and exposed the OTP route in the main route in this file. So we are done here. Now with the app server still running, we create a push request in Postman. Here we supply the verify OTP endpoint. We then set the body of the request to JSON and pass some data. With this value from the earlier email, we should get a valid response. It should be different if otherwise. This works fine so we can save and commit the changes in our code. We will build on this to implement user email verification based on this OTP system in the next part. You can take a shortcut and access the full source code with the link in the description.